The saga of the Beat Steed and its four riders has its origins in a medieval chanson de geste told throughout the greater part of Europe. Wandering minstrels, folk tales and processions popularized such universal heroic epics. Every 10 years, Dendermonde commemorates the story of the four local children who fled on the back of a giant horse from their uncle's revenge. Goose pulling or ganzentrekken in Dutch was a blood sport practiced in parts of the Netherlands, Belgium, England and North America from the 17th to the 19th centuries. The sport involved fastening a live goose with a well-greased head to a rope or a pole that was stretched across a road. A man riding on horseback at a full gallop would attempt to grab the bird by the neck in order to pull the head off. It is still practiced today in parts of Belgium, using a dead goose or a dumb goose. Krakelingen and Tonnekesbrand are the names of very old festivities in Gerardsbergen. The summit of the event is the Krakelingen Worp at the top of the Oudenberg Hill. At the end of the procession, the Druids, the Dean, the City Council and thousands of spectators go to the top of the Oudenberg before they are allowed to throw the 10,000 or so Kringles or Mastellen. The Dean, the Mayor and the Alderman have to drink a sip of wine with a live fish. The Katastut, or the Festival of the Cats, is a parade in Ypres, devoted to, yes indeed, the cat. It has been running regularly since 1955 and is usually held triannually on the second Sunday of May. The parade commemorates an Ypres tradition from the Middle Ages, in which cats were thrown from the Belfry Tower or the cloth hole to the town square below. Let me put your minds at rest. Nowadays, they throw toy cats. <laughs> 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 